Hey guys, Bowflex Barbie here and I want to thank you so much for joining me for today's workout. Our workout today is called Core Crunch. It's a part of the Core Blast series, a collection of 15 minute core focused workouts. Now these are workouts you can do on their own if you have 15 minutes and you want to get a nice core workout in or you can do these at the end of another workout. Maybe you did a tone and 20 workout and you want to just add a little more time to that and complete a core circuit at the end. You can also do that or if you're in the gym and you want to end your session with some core, this is perfect for that too. So these workouts need no equipment at all, just your mat or a towel or a comfortable spot on the floor. And we're gonna be working on tightening, toning our midsection. Our core strength is super important for all other movements we do. It's our main stabilizer in the body. It's our center, it's our core. And so we wanna make sure that it's nice and strong and we also want it to look great too. So this workout is gonna help us do just that. So let's get started. All right, let's get started. We're gonna move into our first movement, which is the reverse crunch. So we're gonna slide the hands slightly under the hips, and we're tucking, we're pushing our lower back into the mat, tucking the knees into the chest, pushing the feet straight out, about six inches above the ground. Ready, we've got 10 of these, and let's go. One, two, three, Four, keeping that core nice and engaged. Five, six, good. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good work. Our next movement is the crossover crunch. So we're gonna take that right leg, cross it over the left knee, and we're gonna take that left arm behind the head, and now we're gonna drive this left elbow up towards the right knee. Just like this, as close as we can get it. We've got 10, two, three, four, five, six, as close as we can get it, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good work, switch sides. And so left leg over right knee, right arm behind, bring it over to the left knee. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got two more, nine, and 10, good. Now we're gonna go back into our reverse crunch, just like we did before. Hands slightly under the hips, enough to where we can still get our lower back on the mat and really engage our core, ready? And let's go. One, two, nice and controlled. Three, control your breathing, nice deep breaths. Four, five, six, seven, we've got three more. Eight, nine, and 10, good. And we're gonna cross that right leg over the left knee again. Left arm behind the head. Ready, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got two more. Nine and ten. Perfect. Switch sides. Same thing. One. Bring that elbow as close to the knee. Two. Three. Four. Good. Five. Six. Let's go. Four more. Seven. Eight, get that shoulder off the mat. Nine, and 10. Good work, we got one more round. So back to our reverse crunch, tucking the knees into the chest. That's one, two, three, four, good. Five, six, in and out, seven, eight, pushing that lower back into the mat, nine, and last one. And good. And we're gonna cross that right leg over the left knee, left arm behind. Last set of our crossover crunch. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, three more, let's go. Eight, nine, last one, 10, good. Same thing on the opposite side, left leg over the right knee. Ready, and let's go. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, whew, seven, we got three more. Eight, nine, last one, 10, good. So our next circuit is going to be V-up crunches. So we're gonna take the legs out as we land back and bring the knees in as we come up. Ready? We've got 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, whew, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Good job. Next movement is our Superman crunch. So for the Superman crunch, we are flat on our back, knees up, feet flat. We're gonna bring the right arm up and over the left knee. If you can, come all the way up, come all the way up. If you can, come all the way up. Once you get the shoulders off the mat, that is perfectly fine with me. We get the core engaged. Ready, so we're gonna start with the right arm and we've got five on each side, 10 in total. Ready? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, we got three more, eight, nine, and ten. Good. We're going to go back into our V up crunch, and we've got ten again. I can't see the time. Ready? So we've got V-up crunches starting in three, two, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10, good. Whew. I felt that word, all right. Going into a Superman crunch. Ready? And let's go, right arm of the left knee, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's go, last three, eight, nine, last one, and ten, good. So we've got one more round of that, going right back into our V-ups, get ready. Starting in three, two, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way through. Eight, nine, and ten. Good. Whew, I felt that one too. Let's go. We're going right back into our Superman crunch for the last set. Ready? Bring that right arm up over the left knee. One. Now we switch, four, five, six, good, we got four more, seven, Whew. eight, last two, let's go, nine, and ten, Whew. good job. If you need some water, grab some water. I'm gonna try to push through. Our next movement up is the heel tap crunch. So we're in a similar position, but this time the feet and the knees are gonna come up at 90 degrees and we're bringing the elbows, both elbows up towards the knees. So shoulders come off the mat like that. Now we've got 10 reps, get ready. In three, two, and let's go, one, I want you to focus on controlling the movement. Two, three, four, five, six, good. Seven, we got three more. Eight, nine, last one, and 10, good job. Our next movement is the heel tap crunch, which will be 
that was the 90 degree crunch. Our next movement is the heel tap crunch, where we start in a similar position to the 90 degree crunch, with the knees up, feet up at 90 degrees, and we tap the heels down, keeping the knees bent, right back up, and we crunch. Tap, and we crunch, so we've got 10 of those, ready? And start with the feet up, we crunch, tap, one, two, very light tap, three, four, good, five, six, seven, we got three more, eight, nine, last one, ten, good, Whew. my core is on fire, all right, now we're going back to our first movement, our 9 degree crunch, keeping the feet up, knees up, Ready, we've got 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, last one, 10, good. Alright, going right back into our heel tap, get ready, crunch, tap, that's 1, 2, Three, good. Four, five, we got five more. Six, seven, eight, last two, nine, and ten, good. Woo. We got one more round. Right back into our 90 degree. Ready, and let's go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Good. And ten. All right, <laughs> last set of our heel tap crunch. Ready, crunch, tap, one, two, three, four, five. We got four more. Seven, eight, last two, nine, and ten. Good job. All right, team, so we've got one more circuit. Two more movements for three rounds. Our last two movements are side crunches and bicycle crunches. So for our side crunch, you're going to lay on your side, bending that bottom leg, just like this and that top leg is straight. Top leg stays nice and straight, just over the bottom knee that's bent. We're gonna bring the left arm on top of the head, and we're crunching up as we bend that top leg. Ready, we've got 10, and then we'll switch sides. Ready, one, two, good, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Good work. <coughs> and we switch side. We've got the same thing, bottom knee bent. Pop leg nice and straight. Bring the arm behind the head. And we're crunching, bringing them kind of to meet in the middle. Ready? One, two, three, <coughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Good work. We're going to go into our next movement, which is the bicycle crunch. So, flat on your back, hands behind the head. And we are going to bring the opposite knee towards the opposite elbow and that leg that's not coming in is gonna be nice and straight, about six inches off the ground, and then we switch. So we're gonna go 10 in total, five on each side, ready? One, two, three, four, five, nice and controlled, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good job. We're gonna go right back into our side crunch. 
Bottom leg straight, bottom leg bent, sorry. Top leg straight. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we switch sides. Get ready. Starting in three, two, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whew. And good job. Our last one was two rounds. That was 15 minutes of fun. And thank you so much for joining me. And I hope to see you on my other workouts very, very soon.